How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I wanted to speak to you guys in regards to having your Nintendo Switch boot homebrew basically immediately after launching your payload as opposed to having to specify that you want to launch um, your homebrew firmware CFW specifically. Now, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how that works. Now, if I were to take my Nintendo Switch here real quickly. I'm going to hold the power button. Turn that baby off. Right? Oh. I'm going to take the time. I can put my Switch into RCM. By holding volume up. And pushing the power button. You are going to have to use your jig or your paper clip, whatever method you use to launch RCM with your switch. But mine is booted into RCM the way I have it set up now. I'm going to plug it into my computer. And now when I launch the program for sending the payload here, Tigra RCM GUI 2.1, I'm going to inject the payload and you're going to see what I mean. How it boots automatically. Give it a couple of seconds. And it's going to go ahead and launch Homebrew. CFW. Whatever you want to call it. Now, once you get in, should be able to just go down to your photos or your album and click it. And you'll be right in the homebrew. Now, how to execute this? It's fairly easy. I'm going to have some download links included in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Now, I'm going to take out. Hopefully, this can be fairly easy. You know what? I'm going to remove the back panel from my switch. I'm going to take out that SD card. So I got my micro SD card here. I'm going to plug this in. It's formatted as FAT32 just to specify. Now I can show you that here. If I go here and go into properties for my SD card, I'll be able to see that it is FAT32 file system FAT32. You are better off being in FAT32. If you do format your micro SD card into FAT32, say it's on uh, EXFAT, then um, you might want to back up all the necessary files, important files that you have on that micro SD card as a precaution. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff already set up on my micro SD card. So, here we go. So, for those who have already followed a previous tutorial, you're going to want to go into your micro SD card and you're going to want to delete these specific files. You're going to want to delete the atmosphere file. You're going to want to delete the loader kit file, the nxdreport.kit file, and the sm.kit1 file also. Delete all those from your micro SD card if you have followed my previous tutorial and then follow on along from this point now if you are new to this after you have formatted your micro sd card as fat 32 again you are insert your micro sd card into your computer you go into the root of your micro sd card now the sd files version 5.2.1 or 5.2.1 you're going to want to open that up and you're going to copy and paste all those files onto your micro SD card. Now once you do that, you'll be good to go. Replace those files. Give it a moment. Shouldn't take too long. Files are almost transferred. Now that they're transferred, you want to make sure you eject 
your micro SD card properly and once it's properly ejected you may now remove your micro SD card from your computer and you may insert it back into your Nintendo Switch as I'm doing now now you will need your jig and you will need to follow that method that you know to launch into RCM use your jig slide it in there whatever method you use to do it for me I just use my controller and everything and I'm good to go once you have your jig inserted hold volume up hold that power button for a couple of seconds maybe three seconds let go and you should be able to plug your switch into your computer Tigra RCM GUI you're gonna launch that that's also gonna be included in the description now you're gonna make sure that you specify the he Kate underscore C T C A E R underscore 3.2 dot bin file as your payload and when you click eject payload inject payload sorry you will be launched into this menu here now if you go in and you go to launch options you can go to auto boot set it to launch CFW boot time delay that's up to you custom boot logo enabled back I'm gonna show that this does work after following these steps I'm gonna reboot into RCM I'm gonna open up Tigra RCM GUI again I'm gonna inject my payload and this time it will automatically boot into homebrew slash CFW on its own I won't have to specify to launch the firmware it's gonna do that on its own this does work from 4.0 all the way up to 5.0 5.1.0 or whatever the latest firmware is currently for your Nintendo switch and also this does work for 3.0 if I'm not mistaken and uh, it may even work for 1.0 but um, you're gonna have to check in the in the description I'll include a list of what actually works now once you're done this you will be good to go homebrew launched that's it it's not too difficult fairly easy I hope you appreciate this your man Leonidas aka Mr. Homebrew. Um, I will have other tutorials coming up really soon in regards to a couple of other things that will help many people get their systems up and running, certain emulators and things like that. Um, probably be live streaming tonight, playing a game. I'm not sure exactly which game I'm going to be playing tonight just yet live for everybody. Um, if you'd like to join the live stream, why not? Now, remember, it's not too difficult. Make sure your micro SD card is formatted as FAT32. Um, this does work on EXFAT, but FAT32 is recommended. And you're going to want to copy over the SD files, the Heke IPL, Homebrew Menu, Boot Logo, Switch folder, the Models folder, Edison folder, and the Atmosphere folder. Um, onto your micro SD card as I did show you and you should be able to get your Nintendo Switch booting up into homebrew a lot quicker than you did before now again this is your man Mr. Homebrew I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial there will be more informative videos to come soon enough you know I do keep you updated with most of the latest news and updates as soon as possible all the best take care stay safe i'm gonna enjoy some fun times you guys have fun peace